today I shall mention some differences or a comparative study between conduction current and uh, displacement current. Conduction current is produced by free electrons or mobile charges in a material medium and its strength is given by I equals dq by dt rate of flow of charge and is expressed in ampere. Conduction current is not possible in vacuum or in insulator because of the absence of conduction charges in those cases. Displacement current is generated by a time varying electric field that is an electric field that changes with respect to time. It can exist even in vacuum where there are no charges of any type. Displacement current is a current in the sense that it produces a magnetic field. Wherever there is displacement current, a magnetic field is present there. That will be generated automatically. Displacement current makes a circuit continuous where discrepancies arise for against conduction current. In a closed circuit, conduction current will flow if and only if there is no insulator or breakage or air gap or insulator and so on. But if the applied voltage is varying type, the displacement current will make up to continue the flow of current across the discrepancies and make the circuit or current flow complete. Conduction current. In metals, conduction current takes the major role where displacement current is negligible even if the field is changing or applied voltage is changing provided frequency of the applied voltage is less than optical frequencies that is of the order of 10 raised to 15 hertz or displacement current in conductors becomes predominant or active at very high frequencies. Otherwise, displacement current is will be negligible compared to conduction current. Maxwell modified Ampere circuit law, including displacement current. You know that Ampere's law for steady current is integral b dot dl is equal to mu zero into ic where ic is the conduction current or the current we discuss normally battery current from battery and so on in free space b equals mu zero into h where h is called the intensity of magnetic field is expressed in ampere meter, ampere per meter. 
you can substitute here for b then we get integral h dot dl equals mu zero into i that mu oh, sorry in the place of b we introduce here mu zero h dot dl equals mu zero ic mu zero would go or Ampere's law takes the form integral h dot dl is equal to ic. This is the normal original form of Ampere's law for conduction current. Maxwell introduced the concept of displacement current and he modified Ampere's law in the form integral h dot dl is equal to ic plus I displacement. I displacement is dd by dt. d equals epsilon 0 e in free space. That epsilon 0 you can take it outside the differential. Then it becomes epsilon 0 into dE by dt. So Ampere's circuit law, the general form modified by Clark Maxwell is integral h dot dl or h dl cos theta equals i conduction plus or conduction current plus epsilon 0 into dE by dt where e is the intensity of electric field. This is a time varying field because we are if the field is static e is a constant then dE by dt becomes 0 then integral h dot dl equals ic that is the original form of the ampere circuit law so displacement current occurs only when electric field is changing now what is the inference of this equation from the, you can draw from this equation wherever now this equation connects electric intensity or electric field and magnetic field that means wherever there is a change time varying electric field a magnetic there will be a magnetic field or a time varying electric field cannot exist independently it will be accompanied by the generation of a magnetic field or a magnetic field will be connected with an electric field and that is the electromagnetic the, that is the uh, importance of electromagnetic field it is from this concept that maxwell established that light is an electromagnetic wave thank you